WKY Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Another day filled with gorgeous skies, temperatures below average, something we'd like to just bottle and take the rest of the year. You know, just a wonderful, wonderful Thursday afternoon. High temperature 81 after a morning start of 63. And outside right now, with clear skies, we are extremely nice. 67 to 70 is the range in town. Humidity, it's starting to creep up a little bit now at 65%. An east breeze between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Lots of clear skies right now. A couple of showers and storms way off to the west of us out near Omaha and Kansas City where an upper level storm system is gathering a little bit of strength, but the moisture as it moves off to the east is getting gobbled up by the big blue H. High pressure, which is still large and in charge, will dominate tonight the rest of the work week, much of the weekend as well. Although, because we're getting on the back side, things will start to warm up with a southerly airflow the next few days. But overnight tonight, it's delightful again. Free air conditioning as we'll drop back into the middle and upper 50s outside the city, expecting 62 for the overnight low in the metro. Of course, as we move through tomorrow, overall, the weather patterns are moving so slow that the high will continue to dominate. But with more of a south and southeasterly breeze, those temperatures will continue to elevate somewhat. No low 80s tomorrow. In fact, with lots of sunshine really from start to finish, I think high temperatures will climb into the middle and upper 80s across the region. Expecting 87 here in town. And by the way, the upper 80s, even close to 90 degree temperatures, will be with us through Saturday and also Sunday. Real quick, let's talk about the tropics. Vicki was talking about Tropical Storm Erica just a moment ago. Well, there it is, graphically denoted for you. You can see it. There's San Juan, Puerto Rico. Just off to the southeast of there is the center of the storm, and the hurricane center takes this thing off to the northwest the next several days. And by early next week, Monday, Tuesday, it's a slow mover, but it could. It could be impacting mainly the eastern peninsula of Florida as a minimal hurricane. Notice these are the forecast regions right there. 75 mile an hour winds Monday evening could strengthen up to 85 mile an hour winds by Tuesday. So we'll watch that real close for you. Forecasts around here for tonight. Delightful again. We'll be dropping through those 60s clear skies. 62 bright and early in the morning. 50s in the outline regions. Wonderful midday. We're in the upper 70s tomorrow going up to 87. And your seven day forecast. Upper 80s for Saturday and Sunday. There could be enough moisture around that we trigger an isolated or stray shower Sunday, Monday. Aside from that, it's warm again, guys. Lower 90s for much of next week, the first week of September. How about that? I don't. It was. I'm still reveling in the, what a great day for the fair. It's gonna be interesting to see what this year's attendance is for, it's gotta be. for the two weeks. It's, it's got to yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, great out there. People were coming out in droves by five, six o'clock tonight. Yeah.